I don't know, this could be kind of cool to peel all the bark off, see how much streaking I got, and save it as a staff for the Renaissance Fair. Hi, I'm Chelsea Harbach. I'm the plant disease diagnostician at the Iowa State University Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic. And I wanted to show you something cool that I've gotten to see over the last couple weeks this spring on this Princeton elm. So we have a number of Princeton elms that line our uh, drive here. And this is the only elm that we're seeing this on. Uh, there's like most of the canopy has wilted and like in like a week, a week or two, it was pretty quick. So the whole tree leafed out, then most of the tree canopy wilted. And I came out here yesterday with the saw and some pruners and cut off a branch to look for symptoms of a disease called Dutch elm disease, which is a fungal disease transmitted by bark beetles. And this bark was incredibly easy to peel back and easily quickly revealed a lot of vascular streaking in the cambium. And that is a telltale symptom of Dutch elm disease or really almost any vascular disease in a shade tree. This tree is a goner, uh, very sad. Princeton elms are thought to, or a hybrid elm that are thought to be a little more resistant or tolerant to this pathogen. As I mentioned, this pathogen is spread from tree to tree by bark beetles. Bark beetles are very small. You really won't see them unless you're really looking for them. And this is an example of what bark beetle galleries look like. They'll have a central trail where the, the parent is feeding and laying eggs as it feeds through the wood. And then the, the larvae will grow outward from there and be eating and eating until eventually they will emerge from the bark. So if you looked, eh, kind of tough to see. This is, this is actually on ash, but the elm bark beetle uh, galleries look exactly like this. Beetles don't eat the fungus. They just kind of passively transport the fungus from tree to tree. And so as they're like feeding through the, the cambium, they'll pick up um, the fungus from the cambium and then fly off to new trees to continue eating. And, uh, and that's how the fungus will move from plant to plant. And the, so the tree uh, has kind of a hyperactive response to the, the fungus when it detects the fungus in the vascular system. And it forms these, these cells called tyloses, extensions of cells that are meant to help with defense, to help limit the movement of the fungus throughout the vascular system. And kind of in doing so, the tree will also like choke itself out. So as the, the fungus is moving, the, the tree's producing these tyloses, and that's why you get this kind of like wilt, wilting symptom, because the, the trees essentially cut itself off from water. And it's, this is the fungus that we see? The streaking, yeah. Those are like dead, um, dead vessels. Um, so that's where we culture from, from the streaking, streaking area, because that's where we're most likely to pick up the, the fungus. Um, if it's colonized this branch tissue and and uh, you're better off to get a sample that's freshly dead uh, if you if you get a sample from a limb that's been dead for a while the likelihood of recovering the fungus from that tissue diminishes the longer it's been dead so that's where like this tissue is still fresh like when I peel back the bark I can still feel it's wet so this is, this is really an ideal sample for culturing. The pathogen, there's Ophiostoma nova and Ophiostoma, or no, Ophiostoma omai and Ophiostoma nova omai. I believe both of them are from like European lineages. So they're both introduced pathogens. And so our American elms had no resistance to this pathogen and it very quickly wiped out the American elms, which were heavily used in the landscape because they have like this beautiful, they called it like a, like a vase shape, the way that like the canopy, like 
goes up and like kind of out instead of like like out like this or like this it's like a nice um, so they were used heavily in the landscape and yeah obviously we're still trying to get them to come back into the landscape with uh, limited success.